Good morning. My name is Jamie Breen, and this is the first morning of my uh, vlog. Is that what it is? A vlog? Um, so I've been watching recently um, some influencers, mostly uh, 20 to 30 something girls talking about their uh, uh, travails and uh, challenges and the way that they solve those challenges and I thought well what, what the world really needs is a, is a 62 year old uh, male <laughs> on, uh, on the uh, on the vlogoscape so uh, so here I am if you're seeing this that means I actually posted it which is uh, which is something that uh, remains to be seen whether it will happen or not um, I have no idea how to generate followers um, I guess I have to have something interesting to say and some sort of uh, some sort of uh, client acquisition strategy. So we'll, we'll, we'll see where this all goes. Um, probably there would be three or four things that that that, that, that I talk about here. Um, uh, primarily, though, this is uh, you know sort of the life of of someone near retirement. Um, I've worked in the investment management industry now for. For nearly 40 years, um, I do have a couple of um, couple of pearls of wisdom um, and, and a lot of uh, and a lot of probably horseshit. I know that, that pearls don't live in horseshit. That would be a mis mixed metaphor, but uh, um, you'll have to you'll have to bear with me as I learn how to, to communicate in this medium. Um, today is January 31st, 2024. Um, for reasons that I don't quite understand, um, I took up the uh, sobriety challenge of, of January, dry January, and uh, have managed to, uh, to to succeed at least to the extent that uh, haven't had anything to drink since uh, since New Year's Day. So that's uh, yay me. That's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, no judgment against anybody, but for me, I've got to say at this point. It's, it's worked out pretty well. I find that I'm sleeping really well. Um, um, I've been, uh, my, my workouts have been better than they, they had been prior to this. Uh, uh, so uh, that may be a, a second theme that we, that we explore here. Um, uh, my, my plan um, is to continue with this, although I'm not committing to do or not do anything. Um, but at this moment, uh, it seems like a like a like a pretty good thing to, to, to do, um, and and really this will lead into the third um, area that I that I hope to talk about here in my vlog, and that's uh, the idea of training and physical fitness. Um, uh, I'm a I'm a swimmer. I've been a competitive swimmer my whole life, uh, save for a 20 year break between my junior year in college and the day my daughter explained to me when she was eight or nine, she's 33 now, uh, when she was eight or nine and I had taken her to a competitive swimming organization here in Atlanta, Georgia, where I live, um, and she explained to me that, that if it was so great, I should be doing it and not her. Uh, not being a little league dad, I, <laughs> I was able to, uh, to, to, to extract her from competitive swimming, but, uh, but realized that I missed it and I've been uh, back at it as a master swimmer. Um, for the last 20 or so years. Um, it's been interesting. It's been a great journey. I've had a lot of fun. I've, um, it's been certainly uh, health positive, uh, something maybe on the other side of the teeter-totter from uh, being a moderate uh, consumer of alcohol through, this, through, these, through these years. Uh, but, uh, but generally, I think it, uh, swimming has been, been, been very, very good for me. Um, did a lot of pool swimming while well, still primarily I, I train in a swimming pool now. Um, but over the years, I've, I've sort of moved away from um, from competing in pool meets, although I still do it occasionally. But I've, I've really gravitated towards open water swimming. Um, I, I, I compete e each year in a five mile um, open water swim, uh, which goes between uh, Buck Island um, in St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, to the Buccaneer Resort, which is uh, a five-mile swim. Um, I've competed in it, I think, eight times. Um, it's, it's 
one of the one of the absolute joys of my life. Beautiful water. Um, I've seen so many cool things on that swim, and it's uh, at five miles. It's a it's a it's a reasonably uh, reasonably big challenge, but it's it's something that that, that I've been able to do. Um, compete each year in a, uh, a race in Lake Michigan, a 5K race called the Big Shoulders Swim Classic, which is. Uh, um, it's called the world's most architecturally significant swim. Um, that you're swimming um, right by the skyline of Chicago off of Ohio Street Beach. Uh, that water is a little colder. Um, uh, it's been as cold as 60 degrees one year when I when I when I, when I did that, and uh, that that was a uh, that's also just I grew up in Chicago and so or in Evanston, just north of Chicago. So uh, that that that's an annual um, treat. It's the uh, the weekend after Labor Day, and uh, it's something that I've that I've really enjoyed over the years. Um, I'm at a little bit of a of a um, sort of crossroads relative to my swimming. Uh, I'm 62 years old. Uh, I'll be 63 in August. Um, I'm at a point where I'd like to take this a little further. I think, uh, uh, particularly maybe it's the no alcohol talking, but um, I think. I've got a chance, an opportunity to do some significant open water swims. Um, the, the two specifically that, I, that I'm thinking of are the Catalina Island swim, where you swim from Catalina Island to Long Beach, and then um, and then follow that with uh, the the English Channel, uh, which is you know the Everest of, of open water swimming. Um, obviously, these are not um, these these are not Things to be taken lightly. Uh, it's very, very difficult. Uh, the swims are, you know, 23 miles, I believe, for Catalina, 22 miles uh, for for the Channel. But those are those are sort of as the crow fly-ish distances. Um, you know, the, the true distance depends on the tides and the conditions on the day. But it's uh, you're talking about a 12 to 14 hour uh, swim in in really cold water. So it's uh, certainly uh, certainly a, a challenge and something that 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 um, um, we'll, we'll be talking about, and one of the purposes uh, for me in, in, in doing this vlog is to um, is to document uh, my progress on on this on this journey. Um, so that's uh, that, that that's certainly a, a piece of, of, of what we're trying to do. Uh, yesterday marked a very uh, significant um, you know, each journey <laughs> sort of journey of a million steps starts with one step, right? And so yesterday, um, I, I, I viewed a, a video that, that, that explained the process that one needs to uh, follow in order to swim the English Channel. And uh, basically, uh, the first step is you gotta find somebody to go along with you in a boat. That uh, there, there, there are you know, a, a very limited number of, of boat captains that, that have the experience and the skill and the knowledge of the tides and, and importantly, the boat um, in order to, to, to help swimmers get across the channel. And these guys are booked out, you know, two or three years in advance, um, is what I learned. And so uh, yesterday, I, I sent an email to, um, I sent an email to seven uh, boat captains that are um, approved by the Channel Swimming Association. If I can find my phone here, I can look up this email and I'll, I'll read it to y'all. Um, hold on, let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, okay, so I'm dead air and I'm losing, losing viewers as we learn from college radio. Okay, but here we go. Let's see, so we'll try to keep the... Uh, the dead air down somewhat. Um, okay, so uh, this is, uh, I sent this particular one, there are seven, as I, as I said. Um, I sent this to the Sea Leopard, uh, Sea Leopard Charter, uh, Mr. Gleason. Uh, Dear Mr. Gleason, greetings. My name is James Breen, and I'm inquiring about potential availability of Sea Leopard for a solo crossing. I've been led to believe that boats are booked out several years in advance, so I'm not sure uh, which year is most likely. I'm an active open water and master's pool swimmer and a former Division I collegiate swimmer, Northwestern, go Cats, go Cats. Um, I believe I have a very legitimate shot for successful crossing and I look forward to the challenge. I believe the proper way to phrase the question is to ask which tides and positions might be available 
hopefully in the 2025 to 2027 window. August 7th, 2026 will be my 65th birthday. So that might be a great day. Thanks so much. Sincerely, James Green. Okay, so I, I received back um, this morning with it being, you know, I sent these last evening. And obviously the time changed. These guys uh, got back to me, uh, some of them. were starting to get back to me this morning. Um, so I received, uh, let's see. We'll say this is from Mr. Gleason, although it is, it's is—it's actually not. It's from one of the other gentlemen. But uh, Morning, James. August 7th, our daughter's birthday. Unfortunately, fully booked 2025, apart from any cancellations. Our slots for 2026 open the 1st of July this year, although I'm sure others have already opened theirs. Note, it would be a very lucky day if you swam on that precise day, but who knows? Regards, Pearl. Masterpiece Charter. So the masterpiece is now the, the front runner. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Um, I, I think part of me talking about this in this vlog is it makes it real. And I think uh, any, any challenge like this, um, you know, to make it real, you have to, you have to start and, 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 and be intentional. Um, so anyway, that's, that's enough yammering on about, uh, about the channel. But I've been, I've been you know, after, after three or four beers, blustering to anybody that will listen that I'm going to do it one day. And uh, yesterday marked the first day of, of actually trying to trying to perform this. So we'll see what happens. Keep you posted. Uh, the fourth thing um, that, 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 that I'll be talking about, is it four things, three things? I don't know. The next thing that I'll be talking about um, on this vlog is, is the idea of, uh, of how to invest your money. Uh, here it is. Here's the pitch. No, I, 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 I've, I've been blessed to, to learn a very uh, pragmatic and simple approach that, that, that people can use to, uh, to uh, sort of balancing the risk of liquidity, what you spend now, and um, growth that, that you're going to need in the future. Um, you know, uh, my, my, my father's 86 years old, and he didn't swim three hours every day. Uh, so, you know, I, I, longevity could be... Could be uh, lurking in my in my future, so um, you know it's important that uh, that one has a, a growth engine, but also has the, the the money to spend currently. And we'll be talking about that uh, you know more as we go. Um, you know, pragmatic uh, lessons around retirement income, but I am um, uh, hopefully going to be retiring from the investment management industry. So um, I, I want to make it very clear this is not a pitch. If I explain. Um, something or an approach or philosophy um, y'all are on your own to do it yourself or, or, or perhaps find somebody to help you but it ain't gonna be me because uh, I'm gonna be training to swim the English Channel um, the last thing I'm gonna do um, and, and you may if you look at other videos I posted a few years ago on YouTube you'll, you'll, you'll see that I uh, am, a, am an an amateur acoustic guitar player songwriter and uh, more on that later I may I may throw uh, I may throw a couple of, uh, of, of of songs up just to just to screw with you. Anyway, um, thanks if you've made it this far uh, for watching this vlog. Please subscribe. Um, I'll try to post something every week, and we'll we'll see what happens. Um, uh, thank you very much.